All right, so this is the last part of the series here of the drawing that you guys are doing. Um, the reason why this is the last part is because we're do we had to do all this stuff around it, and uh, now that we're done with everything, we can very easily come in here and complete what needs to be completed. So this is. It. You know, probably one of those more simple tasks of the drawing. The roof is going to be just a dark roof, so we're not going to sweat it too much. We're just going to kind of color it in, shade it, more accurate term, with a pencil. And you see how that kind of sticks out already? Now you can kind of shape it. Now, the light source is coming from this direction. So this here is going to be a little bit lighter. This is going to be darker because that is the side that no light gets to. And so what we're going to do is very dark value on this, on this side of the pole. worry about it being super perfect either. That's quite alright. Now over here is gonna be lighter. So first I'm gonna do this. Just do a gray value all the way down. Just like that. Now because again it there is a light source, I'm actually gonna erase back into that. So it's not perfectly white, not not perfectly colored in. You kind of come back in here, really create that edge. Just color this a gray. Kind of going. There's not much to this, so I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I, I just want you guys to kind of look what I'm doing. And uh, maybe there's a little shadow down here from where the roof kind of meets. same techniques I've used pretty much all the way around. And I'm just now I'm coming in and erasing this a little bit so it's not you know it just kind of look has that hazy look to it. Now this is like wooden planks down here. It's like an old fashioned depot so You just kind of do little little lines all the way across. And you, I mean, you could use a ruler too if you really want to get accurate. You know, there's that's that's always a good idea. You know, you can see I wasn't very accurate there. Um, this is like a kind of a bigger platform. Let's see, so I'm gonna use my pencil again, and I'm gonna shade this side because this is, this is the side that goes down so not as much light goes there and back here this is not a lot of light gets back here at all this area all right now 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shade that in a little bit. And here's a cool little technique. So, okay, now I have that, right? And let's give that a little bit of an outline. Just so you can see it. There we go. Now, because again, because the light is coming from this direction, it's going to be lighter here. There's this little area here. I'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow. And shadows, too, follow perspective. So, like, if there's that vanishing point that's right here, it's kind of the same rule when you're doing a shadow like that. See how that kind of looks cool? It kind of looks like that shadow is coming right back. It's just a simple little... Simple little technique, but it's just kind of neat the effect it has. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to redraw these lines a little darker. Again, that's where the planks are. Wooden planks. Maybe some are big, maybe some are small. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe you can do because this pole is so dark, is so light. You can come back in here and make this grass a little bit darker. You were doing that grass. You kept it pretty light because you raced into it. So, there you go. Now, let's just scroll back here. Okay, so this drawing is at a point where you could say, I'm done, and you got all this detail that you want. Or you could go and work on each individual area a little bit more, you know. Maybe you want to bring this out a little bit more so you come back in like we were doing and, and make the grass a little bit darker value, you know. Or maybe you come back over here and you're like, you know what, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to erase into this a little bit more. Give it a little bit more so it's lighter. Because maybe the light's hitting it pretty direct, you know. And there's all those little things, all those little decisions you can make now that you have a really good, great base down. You know, maybe maybe down here you're like, yeah, maybe I'll erase into this a little bit more so it pops up. Okay, guys, so that is it. That is done. We are done with this part of the drawing. Or we are done with this drawing. Um, feel free to go back at each stage and, and, and check out the different techniques that I used. Um, obviously, as I said, you can keep working on this and make it even more photorealistic. And as we go, I'm going to show you guys even more tricks, tricks of the trade so you can make an even better work. But uh, for now, I hope you guys just have enjoyed this project and you have yourself a finished drawing.